starts with a little tickle in the back of your throat maybe, or in your nose, and then a sneeze, and then maybe you start to itch a bit. Uh-oh, you look around. Is there a cat here somewhere? And then suddenly your nose starts running, and then your eyes, they get red and watery, and then the sneezes. The sneezes, they just, they just keep coming in bunches like you've lost control of your body. Well, if you are like 50 million other Americans who suffer from allergies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're under attack, but how and, and why? When someone with allergies is exposed to that allergen, what happens next? Well, one of the things that happens next for a lot of people is trouble breathing. Can you imagine not being able to take a nice deep breath when you want? The feeling of not being able to get enough air in your lungs must be terrifying. And for millions of Americans living with bronchial asthma, the very act of breathing is a constant struggle. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham. Asthma and allergies. As well as a quick peek at what's going on in our bodies when we get goosebumps. And why some people get nauseated on a boat at sea. All this coming up on today's edition of What Happens Next. 